Today we're going to enjoy the free of face lesson. Now this is one of my most favourite Feldenkrais lessons, although if you get to know me, you'll know I'll say that about many of the lessons that I teach. But this lesson is quite amazing because it can not only help you with TMJ problems or jaw tightness, lock jaw, teeth grinding. It can help you with um, perhaps problems that you have with your eyes, um, the, the muscles surrounding the eyes. It can release tension. It can do many, many things and I've had all sorts of good reports about it. I It helped me with my migraines. In fact, it cured me of migraines. It helped my mother when she had a stroke and half her face was dropped and it lifted it back to its original position. Uh, one of the most important benefits that is so popular is that it actually plumps up your skin and gives you a much more youthful look. So that's one of the major pluses of this particular lesson. So today, Corinna, my friend, is going to be doing the lesson for you. She's very young, so she doesn't need the uh, holistic facelift aspect of this lesson, but she might have some other things going on that we don't know about yet, but hopefully she'll notice the difference. Um, I've go I'm going to ask her to do the lesson in the chair. This lesson can be done in lying. In fact, the first time you do it, it might be worth lying down for it. But on this occasion, Corinna will be sitting in the chair. And we're going to start with a body scan, of course, which will be done lying down. So I hope you enjoy the lesson. So Corinna, just settle into the chair. Make yourself comfortable. And I'd like you just to take your awareness now to the front of your face or the front surface of your face. And just notice for yourself, can you notice your eyes, where they are, the position of them? Can you notice where your nose is? your mouth and do you f do you feel any tension between the eyes or around your cheekbones so just take your awareness now to your mouth and just notice the position of your tongue inside your mouth. So where does it like to rest? So if you were brought up like me, perhaps your mother would say to you, don't make, don't make that ugly face or don't scowl because if the wind changes, you'll get stuck with it. Well, mother was right. We do create our own faces, either through just the habits of our life or our emotions, or even where we live. So if we live in a sunny climate, we tend to squint more. So, but if we can create our faces, we can also uncreate them. So let's try to do this today. So, I suggest you do about four repetitions of each movement that I ask you for. Don't do anything that hurts or anything that's uncomfortable. And just make the movement slow, small, or if it's uncomfortable or you can't do it, just imagine it. Basically do less than you can. So, first of all, just shut your eyes for a, for a minute and very gently, just turn your head left and right. And you don't have to go to the full uh, far, farthest place that you know you can turn to, but just get a sense, does one side feel easier than the other? And then just bring yourself back to neutral now. 
And I'd like you to begin a movement of just opening your mouth several times. So you're just going to open and close your mouth nice and slowly. And I'd like you just to observe the effort of what does it take for you to do this movement. So you're just opening and closing. And then just pause. Now again, and again, just do this a few times. Open your mouth, but this time use your tongue to make the effort. So you're going to push your tongue out against, or push your tongue against your lower jaw, or put your tongue in the bottom of your mouth, and use your tongue to make the effort. So the tongue goes right into the bottom of your mouth and the tongue will open your mouth for you. And as you do this, you might feel that your mouth opens a little bit more than it did before. So again, just appreciate the increase in the opening of the jaw. Good. and then just pause, take a rest and again just check in with your breathing now still with the tongue I'd like you to push your tongue out of your mouth over the lower lip and open your mouth by your tongue pushing downwards So again, the, the tongue is still making all the effort to open the mouth or the lower jaw. But let your tongue come out of the mouth and it rests on the, on the lip. And again, can you sense if this makes it easier for you to open your mouth? And again, just pause. Now, I'd like you just to open your eyes now and return to slowly and carefully opening your mouth. And as you do this, what do you do with your tongue? So I know we've been playing around with the tongue, but now that you're opening your mouth normally, where does your tongue rest? And then start to notice what do your eyes want to do? So as you open your mouth, do your eyes look up? Do they squint? Do they get wider or bigger? Now, just let your eyes be half open as you open your jaw. And notice, does that affect the opening of your jaw? Does it make it harder? And then just pause. Now, next we're going to try quite an interesting move, which might be a little bit difficult to understand, but I hope I can explain it clearly. So normally when we talk or eat, our lower jaw comes away from the upper jaw, but we're gonna play around now by taking the upper jaw away from the lower jaw. 
So to do this, what I'd like you to do is to grab hold of your chin and hold it very firmly. You can use two hands and you're going to just open your mouth by taking the upper jaw away from the lower jaw and you'll probably find that your head tips backwards and it, you start to look up at the ceiling perhaps. If you're, lying on, if you're lying down and doing this, your head will tip backwards and you'll be looking up at the ceiling. So it probably feels quite strange. This is an unusual movement. Basically, we're opening the skull against the jaw instead of opening the jaw against the skull. You might find the back of your neck shortens a bit as your head goes back. So just notice that. And then just pause. Now, we're still going to play around with this upper jaw thing. So again, keep your mouth just softly open. And again, I'd like you to hold your chin so the lower jaw doesn't move at all. And this time you're going to take your upper jaw left and right or side to side. So you'll be rolling the head just a little bit. So it isn't a big move. If you find that you're turning too far to the left or too far to the right then you're probably not holding the lower jaw still so it's a tiny move but what you will feel which is the really good bit about this this particular movement is you'll feel that the muscles of the right at the top of the spine start to release it's a lovely feeling There you go, and then just pause and just take a complete rest now, just relax. Again, check in with your breathing. And then let's go back to doing some moves which are probably more regular than the ones that you've just done. So this time I'd like you to just glide your lower jaw from side to side. So your lower jaw is just moving left and right. And as you do this, just notice if it's easier to move the jaw to one side compared with the other. So just do this easily and slowly. And then just pause. And now glide your jaw forwards and backwards. So it's rather like opening and closing a drawer. So just do this a few times. And again, don't do anything that's painful. Sometimes you might hear some clicking or clicking, cracking, popping. Don't worry about that, just do less. And then next time your jaw is forward, slowly open and close your mouth, rather like a guppy fish. There we go, and then just rest, just pause, take a rest. So there are always lots of rest breaks in the Feldenkrais method because that's when your brain gets the chance to learn, change. So now we're gonna do a whole series of puckering. So by this I mean those big smoochy kissy lips that babies make. So 
Just begin by puckering your lips several times. So release and pucker, pucker and release. And, you know, put, put a little bit of energy into this. We want a nice big smoochy pucker. And so just as you're doing this, start to notice what's happening to your jaw. So you might notice that as your lips go forward, that probably changes the position of your lower jaw. And what happens to your eyes? Do they close or squint or look up? And then just pause, just take a rest. And now we're going to start making funny faces. So I'd like you now to pucker your lips and open up your eyes as wide as you possibly can. So I'm told this is the Betty Boop look. So you really want to put some energy into puckering and opening up your eyes as big as you can. So just pucker and release and then try another pucker. And then just pause. And now this time as you pucker, I'd like you to deliberately make your eyes go up. So again, do this a few times, you're puckering and the eyes are looking up to the ceiling. And then just pause. And now I'd like you to pucker and make your eyes go down. So you'll be puckering and as your eyes look down, you'll probably be able to see your pucker. So just pucker and release a few times. And then just pause. And now pucker, but take your lips to the left. And just do this a few times. And notice, do your eyes want to follow your lips? So if you're puckering to the left, do your eyes want to follow? And now try puckering to the right. So pucker your lips. And again, notice if your eyes are following. And then just pause. So you might know what's coming next. I'd like you to take your lips, you're gonna pucker your lips to the left, but take your eyes to the right. And then come back to a, a neutral position and now pucker to the right and take your eyes to the left. And 
And as you're doing this, just notice how much of your face do you use to do this. And then just pause. And now I'd like you just to pucker and then release your pucker into a big wide smile. So pucker and smile. And then pucker and smile. Just do this a few times. There you go, and then just pause. And finally, in this, this little section, just let your tongue now come out of your mouth, but slide your tongue from side to side over the lower lip, from corner to corner. And notice if your head naturally echoes this movement. So, Your tongue is sliding over your lower lip from corner to corner. You might notice that the head just wants to roll slightly. So basically your tongue, in a way, is moving your head. And then just pause and take a complete rest. Well, thank you, Corinna. So she's just completed the first section of the Free Your Face lesson, which mainly concentrated on the jaw. So the rest of the lesson includes the tongue, uh, the eyes, the nose, the ears, and probably it helps also the neck as well. So if you're interested in learning more about this lesson, or even more Feldenkrais lessons, please keep in contact with me. So my name is Ursel Nima. The company is Clear Light Body Mind Awareness. And thank you very much. Mind your body.